So the new over-the-counter uh, version of the Narcan or Naloxone is expected to be out in uh, convenience stores or wherever over-the-counter medications are sold sometime at the end of summer. But one important thing to note that in the state of Ohio, you can already get Narcan by walking into uh, any pharmacy. Um, as of uh, April 6, the Ohio Board of Pharmacy passed a new law that said you do not need a prescription uh, if, if you're looking for this product. Uh, you can walk into any pharmacy, talk with the pharmacist, and um, and see if, if they have it or if they can order it for you. Opioids are very powerful pain medications that have uh, great uses for people who have pain after surgery or even chronic pain. The way the opioids work is they bind to receptors inside the, your, your nervous system, inside your brain and spinal column, and they block the pain signals going from your, your um, rest of your body up to your brain. So that's good, uh, but when you have too many opioids in the body, they can work at other receptors and cause you to become very tired or um, maybe even slow your breathing down to the point where it can become fatal. The way the Narcan or the Naloxone works is actually binds to those same receptors a little more powerfully than the opioids, and it can bump the opioids off of those receptors, or it can block the opioids from binding those receptors. I do also want to point out that naloxone reverses opioid medications only. So opioids are medications that you can get with prescriptions such as morphine, oxycodone, which people rec might recognize oxycontin as the brand name, medication called hydromorphone or the brand name Dilaudid, or even fentanyl, which is a prescription medication that we're hearing a lot about in the news, as well as heroin. Those are all opioids. The naloxone will not work for other medication classes, such as benzodiazepines that might be abused, like Ativan or Xanax, or other drugs you might find on the street, such as um, methamphetamines. If you're on an opioid, um, or if you're newly started on an opioid, it might be good to have on hand, just in case you accidentally take too much or the dose is maybe a little stronger than, than you had anticipated. Or if your or loved one in your household is taking an opioid, even a prescription opioid, but you might have younger children who you might have concerns could get into the medication, or teenagers who might experiment with it, or maybe even somebody else in the household who has a history of opioid abuse that could get into the medications. So those might be circumstances in which it might be good to have this um, naloxone on hand. Some people have also said that maybe sending it to uh, uh, off to college with your children that are college age and who are staying on campus, maybe not necessarily because you're concerned that your child is going to overdose on these medications, but maybe having it on hand, they can save one of their friends who have an opioid overdose.